Welcome to the What's Happening Birmingham video podcast. This podcast is brought to you by the Jefferson County Department of Health. Hello, everyone. This is Jarvis Escobar. What's happening, Birmingham? Today, I have the honor and pleasure of my good friend, Damon Treadwell with MLab Incorporated. I'm going to spell the name out. Mobile Luxury Auto Brokers Incorporated. Good morning, Damon. Good morning. Good to see you, brother. Same here, my guy. Good, good, good. Um, so, Damon, tell me, what is MLab Dash Incorporated? So, MLab Inc. is Mobile Luxury Auto Brokers. We are a hybrid dealership that kind of got created during the midst of the pandemic or slightly a little bit before, but being able to take customers to the auction virtually or in person, however they feel comfortable, uh, and give them the ability to purchase used pre-owned quality vehicles at the same price that all major dealerships across America spend on quality vehicles. Okay, so let's back up for a minute. So what's been people's traditional perception of when they go to an auction? (laughs) <laughs> to buy a car. Well, I mean, a lot of people think, you know, when going to an auction, they're just buying something that's either high mileage or, you know, out of warranty or anything like that. But the vehicles that we purchase are lease returns, uh, still on the full factor of warranty. Of course, I mean, some people like to take a little bit of a chance and get someone with a little bit more higher mileage. But um, a lot of the vehicles that we do purchase are currently under factory warranty, full factory warranty. Okay, so walk me through the process of... Uh... Call you, look up the vehicle I'm interested in. So, if you call me, uh, first of all, we'll do a consult. Mm-hmm. Kind of get an idea of what direction you're trying to go into as far as your next vehicle. Uh, whether that's going to be a car, SUV, a scooter, a boat, or whatever uh, you're trying to get accomplished. We sit down and we go over a few options. We kind of look at several vehicles and we try to kind of come down to the top five that's in your market. Uh, from that top five, we sit down and either you choose to want to go to the auction in person or we can do it through via Zoom call or here at the office here and just kind of bid and see where we fall into that process that we handle everything from shipping, customizations, uh, financing. We kind of co- cover a full spectrum when it comes to purchasing your next vehicle from a corporate fleet, private sector, individuals, we handle it all. Okay, let's talk about the financing because that's that's interesting. Most time people would think about auction, they usually have to they know it's typically cash right. cash buy. So of course we never want to go into anything blindsided. We want to make sure that we find out as much information as possible before even getting into the buying step of it. Okay. So prior to that, during the console, we kind of go over how are we going to pay for this vehicle? <laughs> so is that going to be through your local bank or credit union? Is it going to be cash? Is it going to be someone's loaning you the money? However you want to do that. Uh, we have avenues as well that we personally utilize for sending our clients to that can get you financing options within that same day. Uh, fortunately, uh, I became a lender, excuse me, not a lender, but a dealer for Navy Federal Credit Union. So. Now that people have Navy Federal credit union mm-hmm. vouchers, you come right to me. I can order their vehicle for them, mm-hmm. have it here, and it's like a one-stop shop process. Now, I'll be remiss not to go back and tell them a little bit about your bio and your history dealing with car sales real quick. Oh, wow. So, over 15 years uh, in the car business. Okay. The crazy thing is, back in 2000, uh, when... People thought the world was going to explode. Uh, I got into the car business. It was kind of like I was doing some furniture sales. Okay. And it just was like, you know, this guy was like, hey, man, you really shouldn't come sell cars. I was like, sell cars? Mm-hmm. So I sold cars. My first car that I sold was a Chrysler Concordia, I think that was. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, very nice looking vehicle. And at that time, I was so green into this that that was like, the biggest sale that I had made, uh, biggest first sale that I had made. I okay. think I made, like, my commission was maybe, like, $1,200 off one car. Oh, wow. Like, oh, wow. So, I can make this kind of money off selling cars. So, <laughs> you know, I kind of took that, ran a marathon with it, kind of slightly got out of it because the dealership that I had started with had closed down mm-hmm. and um, got welcomed back into the car business. Um when a period of time, I think maybe it was two years, 
where I wasn't working at all. And I was like, oh, geez, I can't find anything. People were telling me you're overqualified or you're underqualified. So I went to Hollywood Imports. Okay. And I started out like in a crazy level, like washing cars. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, but I was eager, I was hungry. And at that time, that's why I met Malik. Okay. And I was wondering, like, man, who is this dude? Always coming to work late, fly and flashy. You know what I'm saying? Driving all these crazy cars. I was like, I need to find out what this dude does. <laughs> so my credit, and I will go on public record saying this, is that Malik taught me how to do finance. Okay. And so honestly, back then, I didn't realize that him teaching me that was a relief for him because he was the only person that did finance. Okay. So... After he taught me, I started saying, oh, well, Malik taking off on Saturday. The mom, we need you to do it. So I'm like, oh, so now I'm his relief. Oh, okay. So uh, learn how to do finance. Malik taught me how to do finance. And then before then, I was already buying cars. I would go to the own, excuse me, go to the auction weekly. Me and the owner would kind of go buy cars from Atlanta to West Palm Beach to Nashville. So I really learned a lot from him from the buying end because the owner I worked for was extremely cheap. But he used to like really buy nice things. I'm like, okay. how is he able to do this? So I learned a lot of his buying style and technique. Of course, learned the finance from from Malik, and just kind of combined both of those together. And finally got to a point where I was like, for years, I got corporately trained with Adamson Ford. Mm -hmm. uh, they sent me to finance school to learn how to do finance, you know, the right way mm -hmm. versus you know the way I was taught. And um, I combined all of that together and was like, you know, for years I've made these companies so much money and I kind of only got like a small, not even a piece of pie. You know, it's like I was work, 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 work. And I'm like, well, I can do the same thing for myself. Mm -hmm. So on the brink of COVID, I just decided, you know what, I'm going to finally trust God. And I, and believe it or not, I kind of got pushed out to do that mm -hmm. because I was catching so much strife at Hollywood, and finally I just said, you know what, maybe it's just time for us to part ways. Okay. So parted ways, started my own thing. Uh, I successfully uh, managed through the pandemic, and we're currently in a pandemic, but you know, my way of introducing selling cars to people from the perspective of buying your own vehicles uh, not paying all this crazy overhead, mm -hmm. not being worried about buying junk. I'm very hands-on with everything from the beginning to the end. And, you know, I'm proud of myself. Um, I'm really happy of the concept that I've developed. And contrary to Carvana <clears throat> or The Room or people of that sort, you get to deal with an owner, person, yeah, I was going to ask you that, yeah. Right here in person versus mm -hmm. having to deal with somebody virtually that you don't know of. So I have the same cap capabilities and tools that they have mm -hmm. to put you in the quality view. All right, Damon, so show us the before and after with the customizations. So right here we had a 2017 Ram 1500. Okay. And as displayed here, you'll see that it's just a general basic Ram 1500. Nothing too special, nothing too fly, flashy about it. Just a basic truck. Mm. And behind this story of this truck, the young lady that purchased it for me was actually, this was a a project that she did kind of in memory of her husband that passed oh, wow. away. Um, he always wanted like an off-road vehicle. Okay. At the time, because of COVID, we've had to kind of make some changes with things as far as it's cheaper to kind of customize one versus going to buy one that's already okay. I already. Say made with off-road packages. So if you look at this, uh, this is the before. Okay. And this is the after. So on this, you'll see uh, we got the bigger wheels. Went with a 20-inch okay. wheel with, uh, I think, a 31-inch tire. Added some running boards. Added some uh, bullet fender flares around uh -huh. there. And also put a 4-inch lift kit on it. Okay. Which means that it sits a little bit higher. Uh, you actually got to jump up in the truck, but it's totally off-road. And customized this whole package for this lady within, I think, our, from purchase to the time she got it was, I think, a four-day process. Oh, wow. So okay. So I have a, a very good team in pocket that 
helps out with all my customizations. Uh, that's why time is the essence of this all, being able to get vehicles delivered when they're supposed to be delivered so I can head to the shop to get done what needs to be done to it. Because like you said, you're physically at the auction. Physically, yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm very hands-on. Okay. Uh, this next vehicle right here was something that I did not have to do absolutely nothing to. This okay. This is a 2020 uh, Nissan Armada. It had 9,000 miles on it. Uh, this vehicle was frontline ready. Okay. They had absolutely nothing to it. It was just uh, my client wanted a vehicle that he can physically work out of and enjoy with his family. So he's able to do that with that. Uh, and lastly, this will show the Tesla that I did. This uh, Before I got this Tesla in, the wheels were different. They were silver factory wheels. Excuse me, polished factory wheels. Okay. Uh, I put a black coat on the wheels. I did the red calibers to it. Okay. Blacked out the windows. All right, the mine. So this is the website, correct? Yeah, this is uh, one of the pieces of the auction website. This is right here a system where I can actually go right now and don't have to wait till bidding time okay. to actually buy a vehicle. Uh, we'll look here, just as you guys can see. Uh, this is the 2020 Maybach, uh, the S650, and on this one right here, it shows a buy now price of $219,000. Oh, wow. Uh, or also, I'm able to make an offer on that as well, too. So you still kind of got like a little wiggle room in there, but these cars nowadays are selling for an all-time high, especially your ultra, ultra luxury vehicles as far as the Maybach. Uh, but this is a car you don't have to wait on. Uh, you can buy today. Uh, also, this was in Miami, Florida, so it even gives us how much our fees will be on that. Just to buy that car, you have a fee of three thousand oh, dollars wow. because it's a two hundred thousand plus dollar car. Uh, this also shows this vehicle has no accidents on it. Uh, has one remote key and um, information to call the dealer for any other additional questions or comments or things like that of that nature. Also down here at the bottom, which is most importantly if people want to know, well, I got to get it transported. So this right here gives us the option to get it transported. Mm -hmm. It gives our transportation fee right there. Okay. Uh, so basically, when it's all said and done, you can know exactly what you're out the door, what you're looking at. It gives me options to also um, do what's called post sales, which means that before that truck is built out. It's going to go through a complete mechanical inspection for us to know by the time it touched down here if anything is wrong with it or if there's anything that's not mentioned that's wrong so we can catch that before taking possession of the vehicle. Now, one thing I do like about that, because a lot of times misconception a lot of people have when they go to these auctions, they buy the cars, I mean, honestly, as is. Or they so worry about it. They go home, it's like, oh, I don't want to get stuck with a lemon or something. Right. Well, so... The fortunate thing about this particular vehicle right here uh -huh. is that it's still up under factory warranty. Oh, okay. That's so good. So the miles is on it. Even these right here, these uh, 2018, uh, the Rolls Royce, the Wraith. Most uh -huh. Rolls Royce, your high-end vehicles, are still going to be under full factory warranty. Okay. Because people don't accumulate a lot of miles on them. So I will tell you one thing. So as you look right here, this 2016 uh, Rolls Royce Dawn Convertible. Mm -hmm. I never buy vehicles that have what's called as is on them. Okay. Because when you do that means there's something that's noticeably okay. wrong. Okay. You stay totally away from those. Okay. Uh we only put our focus in on cars that are more just, you know, frontline ready, pristine condition. Uh just like this 2017 Rolls Royce Phantom Drophead Coupe. Woo, that's uh, nice right there. It's very nice. Four hundred and twenty thousand is our buy now price, but it also gives us full pictures, photos of everything about this vehicle. Uh, so we get pretty much a live representation of it before taking ownership on it. Now I will say this, uh -huh. on 95% of my vehicles, I actually go put my hands on before buying it. Okay. Uh, I want to see for myself okay. that this vehicle is what they say that it is. Okay. Uh, especially when we're talking about spending north of 80 to 90 plus thousand dollars, we want to make sure that yeah. we can cover every square inch of the vehicle, and I do that. Even on cars that are five to six thousand dollars, when I'm there to put my hands on them, I go through them just to make sure that 
everything he is what it's supposed to be. Four hundred and twenty thousand. That's you one day, Jarvis. Like I, I, already, I, I, I already see. Yeah, we're gonna manifest that. Yeah, we're gonna do that. That I'm gonna give four. I'm gonna buy a four hundred twenty thousand dollars vehicle one day. Yeah, that rolls roll. This is one of the cars. Ooh, that's I'm nice right there. Working on for a client of mine. Uh, he wants the coloring. Uh, it's the one and only Rolls Royce SUV. Uh, this is 2019 with nine thousand miles. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, Rolls Royce has a four year unlimited uh, mile warranty. Uh, -huh. uh but. That car there is one that's definitely a head turner. Uh, I've yet to see one in Birmingham. I've seen several Wraith and um, Phantoms and Ghosts, but never have I seen the Cullinan. Uh, I got the opportunity to drive around in one uh, uh -huh. a couple of months ago uh, when I went up to Chicago. But that is Rose Royce's one and only SUV that they do have. Oh, my goodness. So whatever it is, if it's, you know, again, I just don't want to just broadcast the high end of things, but we also do the low end too. I've done, you know, Kia Optimas, the Hyundai Sonatas, the Ford Focus, the uh -huh. Nissan Sentras. I mean, do a little bit of all of that. Uh, I cover all your needs when it comes to buying a pre-owned quality vehicle. All right. Well, any final, like they want to get in contact with you with that phone number? So yeah. Uh, first of all, my office is located right here in the heart of Irondale, Alabama, 1820 First Avenue South. Uh, my phone number direct is 205-470-9050. My email is damon, D-A-M-O-N, at mlab-inc.com. You can follow me on social media at I Sell Whips, which is my Instagram, or my name, Damon Treadwell, on Facebook. All right, well, Damon, thanks for coming on, man. Know we know each other through the years. Congratulations, man, on your... Many business endeavors. We actually going to do another interview on another business that um, him and Malik actually started doing the pandemic coming real soon. And what's the name of that one? Germaway. Germaway uh, Probe. Yeah, Germaway Probe. So be on the lookout for that. Thank you all for watching this video. Please check out what's happening Birmingham.com for more interviews. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and check me out on Apple Podcasts. Thank you all again. Bye bye. Thank you for watching the What's Happening Birmingham video podcast. Please check out our website app or subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest videos today.